Welcome back to Nothing But Gold. I am AU79. So I have been spending quite a lot of time processing gold-plated circuit boards made from Hewlett-Packard equipment in the 1970s. I've had great results processing the fingers on these boards. I nip them off here and I get about 0.57% of pure gold by weight after the aqua regia process. Separately, I processed 150 circuit boards of this style with very thin gold traces and I had terrible results. Probably got two to three grams of pure gold for 150 of these boards minus the fingers. I was quite puzzled by such dismal results. So what I did was I contacted some refiners who were much smarter than me around the world and ask them why I got so very little gold from the traces versus fingers. And they seem to unanimous, unanimously state that the gold plating on the fingers is thicker than the gold plating on the traces. And that makes sense from a durability standpoint. Because if you take the connector, this board is designed to go in and out several times and still maintain electrical conductivity and resistance to uh, corrosion. That makes sense. But what doesn't make sense to me is why Hewlett Packard in the 1970s, when gold was cheap, would change their process to put thick gold here and thin gold here. It just doesn't make sense with gold being so cheap. Please subscribe and watch my upcoming videos to solve this mystery. Thank you for watching.